Hi, it's Miss Kristen here at the Biggs Museum of American Art. Today we're located on the third floor in our out of the vault modern and contemporary art of the Biggs. Now this exhibition is open for just a few more weeks. Uh, however, uh, this particular Biggs Kids activity is inspired by some of the artwork that we have in this exhibition and that you might see throughout the museum once this exhibition closes. Now, what's inspiring our artwork is something very, very simple. Something you might overlook in art and that is line. A line is when you have a single point, so your paintbrush, your pencil, your marker, your anything, touch and move. That point, when it's moved, creates a line. So behind me, this painting has a line, and that line touches another line, and so on, and so on. And there's a line right over there, and right here. Now, each of these different lines can go together and make all sorts of different things. In this case, this picture right behind me, this is a painting that shows a storefront. We have our glass display that has a red book on it. It has a yellow stand. It has an open book. Next to this big glass window, we have a door and we have a wall. But this is a piece of modern art and these artists were interested in flattening our space. So flattening the storefront, the books, the door into lines and shapes. This same flattening we can see in this painting, which shows us a house at all different angles. That house has been flattened to make sort of diamond shapes. Over here, we have a painting where we have a woman who's been flattened into different shapes made up by primarily straight lines. So today, your different activities as part of our Linapalooza will look at how you use lines to make shapes and to make those two-dimensional shapes look three-dimensional or to have form. But overall, learning how everything starts with a single line. So thanks for joining us and we hope to see you at our museum for our first Inside Bigs Kids, um, as well as joining us next month where we will be doing pop art. See ya.